Professor Claire Rusbridge here, and I want to tell you about Chiari Check. This is a tool that we've developed at the University of Surrey, which uses a machine learning algorithm to help diagnose Chiari malformation and syringomyelia, especially where MRI is not available or where you want to triage the likelihood of the disease before referring for an MRI, and also as a tool to monitor response to medication. And I should say that it is a work in progress, and the accuracy of the algorithm will improve as the database grows. So who can use it? Well, uh, owners and caregivers and veterinarians, and there's a separate registration for if you're an owner or a veterinarian. And if you're a veterinarian, you, uh, you can gain access to your client's uh, questionnaires that they may have filled in uh, prior to uh, attending your clinic. So how does it work? Well, first, you do need to read the uh, terms and conditions and the consent form for the uh, data to be used in the machine learning algorithm. You need to register yourself if you're not already registered and then log in. And then you navigate to either um, view your registered dogs for the animals that you've put in already or register a new dog. So when you register the new dog, um, you're putting in the dog's name, their date of birth and their geographical reg region that they come from. And that's simply so that the dog can be identified in the database and not mixed up with another dog with the same call name. For example, Charlie is a very common uh, name for a Cavalier King Charles a Spaniel to be given. So you enter those simple details. Some of it is necessary, other bits are optional, like the, the dog's uh, uh, pedigree name or registration number. Then when you've done that, you can click on your um, register the dog, you click on the viewed dogs, and then you find the dog in the list. Obviously, this has been a redacted name, hence the blackout over there. So if you have an option to edit the details, if, for example, you got something wrong, like you didn't know the, the, the de birth date and had to, to guess it, that's quite common for a veterinary surgeon. Um, and uh, then you have the option to fill out a new questionnaire or perhaps uh, compare the results of, of previous questionnaires. So if your, cl um, your caregiver uh, and client has come to you saying they've they've already filled out a questionnaire, then you may look at that result or perhaps fill out a new one for that particular um, um, uh, day. What is the questionnaire? Well, it's a series of questions uh, which has already uh, been uh, analysed statistically to show have some relevance for canine Chiari and syringomyelia. And it ask, takes you through those series of questions. And when you finished it all, it will give you a result for Chiari pain, which is shortened to CMP and a result for uh, syringomyelia. And then it will give you the likelihood. Um, so, for example, this dog has a high uh, Chiari pain score, it means they are more likely to have pain uh, from Chiari malformation, but they may have head or neck pain uh, for another disease. So it's not a, an absolute proof. It's an indication that Chiari may be uh, likely. And then it will give a, a, a syringomyelia score. And this dog is, um, uh, it is a medium score, which means that a syringomyelia is much less likely in this instance. But based on your answers, it may also suggest the may, that perhaps something else is going on. Uh, and might suggest that perhaps the dog is scratching because of, of skin disease and direct uh, you to discuss that with your uh, veterinary surgeon. It then allows you to, if you've filled out a number of questionnaires, to monitor progress. For example, Hobbs here um, had uh, an initial low scoring uh, Chiari mal malformation pain score um, and uh, a low SM score, but this is now increased, which might mean that there is uh, something else going on, more pain, uh, perhaps a syrinx developing and a reason to go and discuss this with your veterinary surgeon. Whereas Meg here has been on treatment, initially had a very, very high pain score and a low um, uh, syringomyelia score. Uh, the veterinary surgeon prescribed some analgesic medication and uh, satisfactorily now the pain score is much reduced. 
Chiari check at k9chiari.com. I have to thank the considerable skills of web developer and uh, the machine learning algorithm developer, Christiana Ivanova uh, at the University of Surrey. She was supervised by Dr. Mariam Sirovic. I did have the original concept and provided the, the data. Um, but I have to thank the considerable support of the Hannah Hasty Memorial Fund, uh, who made uh, the launch of this project possible.